Hey guys, I'm Jessie Gopworth and welcome back to my channel. So today I have with me Galaxy Uzios and it has oozing slime spears inside. So we are going to see how these turn out. Okay. Let's see what we have. Instructions. The Uzio ball maker. The base. Glitter. A mixing spoon and a stick. the activator and three colors of paint so we are going to get started for I normally lay something down but I forgot so we're just going to get started for the first thing you're going to need the base and a cup of warm my warm water right here and we're going to hold on, open the base and we have to pour in a little bit at a time so there's my little bit and we have to stir in the whole entire packet little by little let me show you guys and we just Stir it around and oh, stick into my spoon. There we go. It's going to look like that, but once it sets and you stir it every 15 minutes for an hour, it'll actually look a whole lot better. This is what it's going to look like when you get the first few in there. Oh, there's Bandit. She wants to help us. <laughs> So, I'm going to do the rest of the packet, and I will come back to you guys once we got it done. Okay, guys, we're back, and this is what it looks like after you get it all in there and stirred around. It looks like little chunks of, like, the stuff that's in, like, the baby diapers or whatever it is. So, I'm just going to keep stirring this around and crushing it. That way it all dissolve or whatever but this next step we have to let it set for an hour and stir it every 15 minutes so I'm gonna do that and come back to you guys in an hour but for you guys it'll be like a few seconds hey guys so it's been an hour and we're back so this is what it looks like it's like the consistency of like, um, I want to say the white corn syrup. This is what it's supposed to look like after an hour of sitting and stirring every 15 minutes. As you can see, it has bubbles in it, but most of the clumps and everything is gone. So what we want to do now is put it in three different cups and... Add the colors and the glitter. So we're just going to get right on that. Okay, there's bandit. 
So we're going to put our glitter in first. I need to see if it's bandit. Glitter, just because I want to see what it looks like without the coloring in it. She's over there looking at me. Hey, bandit. Okay, so we want to get the... Thank you. So we want to get the wooden um, mixing spoon and mix it up. These are flimsy. Okay, there we go. Here's with just glitter. I think it's really pretty. So we're going to stir the rest of these. Okay, now we add color. <clears throat> White. Ah, oh, it's on my forehead. Stir it up. We want to, well, I want it to do white first so that way the blue and the pink don't mix in. And then it will be like a different color than white, but it kind of more it looks like silver. So let's add the pink. I'm getting it everywhere. I think the glitter first does make it look weird. But it does look really pretty. Okay, last but not least. <clears throat> Blue. Okay, we got our colors mixed. So what we need now stop it is three cups of warm water so you can put your activator in there. So I'm going to go get my cup of warm water. Okay, guys, I got my warm water. So I'm going to take the activator. <clears throat> we can pour this, the whole thing in, and then stir it until it dissolves, which I got a clear bowl so you guys can, so you guys can see better. So we're going to take our spoon and we're just going to stir until it's dissolved. You just take like a couple of seconds where it's hot, but then you wait. And it starts clearing up. Okay, so we got that. Now what we want to do yeah. is get our little Oreo maker thing. Let's move our Uzio, whatever the heck they're called. Put them up here. We want to take this. For the first time, you want to dip it in there, swoosh it around, and then dump it back out. And then you want to take any color that you made that you want. You can do all three of them, one of them, it doesn't matter. And just dip it in here. And 
Pikmin 2. It's cool. What in the world? I think it's where I have that stuff on it. That's been a good idea to use this thing. Okay, so we got it full. Now. I'm going to grab Sorry, I dropped you in water. Okay, so we got our little Uzi L thing here. And it's filled to the top, as you can see. So we're going to, says to dunk it. I'm not good with my left hand. So we're just going to dunk it in here about like two to five seconds and then you'll see that it's coming off around the edges and then you wait a few more seconds and then you just swirl it around and then it comes loose and then it's in there so when you pick it up it's it's squishy but the longer you leave it in there, the harder the outside is going to be. So that's what we want. So we're just going to stick it back in there and wait. Now it makes up to 12 Uzio balls. So I'm going to let you guys go. Finish these and get back to you when I'm done. Okay guys. So I'm back. I got all of them except for one because I overdone one of them. So this is what they look like. Different different colors. I done purple because I mixed blue and pink and then when you mix the blue and white it turns into this pretty blue color. See the difference? Okay so I left them in the activator a little longer so the actual shell around them would harden so I wouldn't have trouble getting them out and setting them down. So. Because if they're just soft and only been there for like a few seconds, they're going to best open. They set this out of the way. Fix this. And I did lay some paper down. So I wouldn't get it over because this gets pretty messy. So we got the white one here that we're going to start with. So we're just going to, right here. So we're just going to squeeze it it's hard come on oh I got another opening let's do it this way it's so gross and the actual it's like rubber ew let's squeeze harder <gasps> that just got on me Ew! <laughs> Let's continue. Ew. It's like a little stream. It's so gross. Ew! It's hard. I didn't think it'd be that hard. But it's like, oh, there we go. Here's what the inside of it looks like slimy. Here, let's move on to the pretty blue one. Oh, there it goes. This one's a little bit easier. A little bit. So, I don't know what causes it to form this layer, but it's actually pretty cool. So, we're just going to lay that aside. Let's get a pink and a little bit of white. Let's squeeze it. It's hard to tell where this is going to come out. Oh, there it goes. Squeeze it all out. On this one, you can see where the white was still and the pink. These two pink and blue. Where you at? Oh, there you go. That scared me. 
There we go. We got like a little purple one. I mixed the color so I could have. So we just got a couple more here. We're just gonna squeeze and tear. Squeeze. Oh, I hate squeezing these. You don't know where they're gonna come out at. There we go. It's like you're popping like a zit or something. But a whole lot more fun. Let's tear that off. I, th I think this is the first one I did. It's really pretty. And it's really, really hard. There it goes. You're scared to squeeze them at first because you don't know which direction. Oh god, it's getting hard. Ew, that sounded so gross. Let's do a blue one. I love it when it comes out in like the little, the little strings. Use a, oh, that one already exploded. Last one. It'll have like a little stopper in it. So that is it for this video. But if you want to redo it, the only thing you have to do is just take whatever was in these rubber things, put it back into the Uzio mixer, and then stick it back in the um, activator. And then you will be able to redo them. So make sure you uh, hit that like button and subscribe down below. I didn't think of this. 